Welcome to Building with Bud, part of the Rocky Bud team. So today we are having a look at this brickwork. So we want to remove this brick here, which has this hole in it, and replace it with one sort of like this. So what we will be doing is we will be chasing this out as easy, like as lightly as possible, so that we do not damage any other bricks around it, and we try and remove this as nicely as possible. And then we will take a brick which we have already salvaged from this wall which we've already cut out beforehand which we've cleaned up and we'll be placing it in here with some cement and lime to match this as perfect as we can. So on that first we're like damaging the bottom and two bricks there. Right. So first of all we are sort of trying to break out the brick without damaging the above and below bricks. We are currently trying to break out the old cement which has been placed in about 40 years ago as a sort of engineering process and this is no good really, it's just all hard and rubbish. first half we'll try and do repeat repeat it there again when we're doing this it's always best if you can use a really sharp cool bit in there the sharper that is the better that will be for you of these 220 year old bricks is that they will break into little pieces as you get into them. We've got to clean it all out now. Get all around the edges nice and clean. The bricks crack around and we just keep chasing it, which is horrible. So, as you are able to see now, we have cleared the brick. So that there's a nice hole there ready for the new one. Now as we look down to the floor, we have all of the mess which is from that hole. And we will just clear that up so that we have a nice work, clear like works face area. So that we don't make any more mess and just drag it around everywhere. So that is the best thing to do. Okay, so we are now adding the sand to the line. We are using a cup as our gauge, so this means that we get the correct colour each time, so we'll use the same amount, so we're using six lots of sand and two lots of lime. We mix it up dry, so 
like this finish, I don't add any water yet until we put every, all the sand and lime together. Perhaps it's just so that we know it looks alright. And yeah. What are you thinking, Mark? You bad? Pretty good. Real good. Looking good? Real good. Real nice. Real nice. So we are we've added the water now to the dry mixture and give it a good thorough mix. It's starting to take shape now. Getting in now. At first it looks rather dark, but then it starts to sort of catch its colour back. As you can see here, it's looking good. We have selected a brick and we are happy with the colour and the sort of shape and we will now take this out and uh, fit it in the best we can and make it look identical or as best as identical as we can to this and this. And we're just chucking some more. Clean up from the key. This helps it key the new cement to the old rail bricks because that's all dry. If it dries too quick, that doesn't stick. Okay. Dampen the top. Get a little on the ends. That won't really stay, but we should put a little on. Let's see if we can get it in. See, that's a little bit on the wall, so I'll take it out. A little more in there, on that bed. So, just push the cement towards the back a little bit. A lot of this you lay with your eye, so you don't put a level on it. You've got to look at it and think, is that right? That's good. The nice thing is, I've got another red brick. Now we'll put a little bit of cement on to, so it goes off a little bit. Now what we'll do, I'll have pushed all the cement to the back. Now we'll fill the front up again.
just leave that now for a little while and we'll come back to it once it's gone off. Wash all the little bits off. Back and have a look, and that will dry off. 